Brussels is the capital of Belgium and considered by many to be the heart of Europe since the EU's headquarters are here. Because of this, the city's food scene is influenced by many different cultures and some of the best restaurants are found here, like Bon Bon, located on the outskirts of Brussels in Walua Saint Pierre. Tonight we're dining at the two Michelin starred restaurant Bon Bon, C'est Bon. Chef Christophe Hardiquet's tasting menu takes Belgian tradition and brings it into the new era. My name is Christophe Hardiquet and this is the restaurant Bon Bon. I'm uh, 45 years old and uh, I'm running my restaurant since uh, 20 years now. I'm thinking about the name of my restaurant and uh, we, are, we were always in the kitchen and we say, mm, c'est bon, hein? c'est bon, bon. And it was very easy. I got two Michelin stars. I moved here uh, 10 years ago. Uh, from my bistro and the second stars arrived uh, maybe at 2014. No, we are working as a, a third one can come, you know, and it's always like that. And if the third one come, uh, we are working as the uh, fourth one existing, you know. Belgian modern signature cuisine. How can I uh, describe my cuisine? It's something like that. When I started Bonbon, it was not the same cuisine as, as today. Today, I think I'm, I'm very based in the Belgian uh, tradition and I give a new, uh, new vision of the Belgian tradition in my cuisine. It's nice to, to work on the territory of your country to have a maximum of identity in the plate. For me, uh, gastronomy, modern gastronomy, it's identity in the plate. Otherwise, we can eat uh, the same thing everywhere. I'm working with local product. Horse mackerel, for example, nobody knows that here in Belgium. They don't know about horse mackerel. And for me, it's a kind of fish I love because I'm, I, I'm loving the Japanese food. So tonight, we will uh, present you a jewels of oysters from Zealand oysters, from the borders with the uh, uh, Holland. It's served with uh, uh, just a little cream with uh, white celery, uh, jelly of concomber and mint, and jelly vodka and tonic. It, what people uh, found funny, it's find a, a traditional recipe cooked in another way, and in a lighter way, and redeveloping the, the, the vision of the dish. We are cooking for Belgian people. Uh, especially when Belgians are uh, discovering this kind of uh, food. They are saying, I know this taste. It's a modern taste, a childhood taste. And another one, it's tomate crevette. Tomate crevette, it's, uh, the, they are little grey shrimps. And usually they are cooked on the boat in the salt water because they are very fragile. You know, I asked the, the, the fishermen to bring me uh, the, the, the shrimps alive. We are uh, killing them, but they are raw. When they are, we are serving them, they are raw. And uh, it's so interesting because they are sweetie, they are, uh, the, the, the taste is completely different. And we are serving a tomate crevette, tomato uh, uh, shrimps uh, in the uh, Belgian tradition. We, you will have also pork alberdouille. Usually it's made with a pork chop and uh, it's deglazed with picalini. We call it uh, spirling. It's a kind of pork chop, but uh, the, the neck. I created these desserts 15 years ago for a winemaker. Botrytisé, it means uh, with the uh, flavors of uh, uh, mushrooms. I said, bah, it smells mushrooms. So I will create something with mushrooms. It was 15 years ago. And I, I create the Sep Café, Sep Mushroom Coffee. It's a mix of uh, a caramel ice cream with a savayon, kind, a kind of emulsion with Sep Mushroom and, and Coffee. We are making a dried slice of uh, uh, sap mushrooms. Everybody loves that because it's completely uh, unbelievable to, to have uh, mushrooms flavors in, at the end of the meal. We, you, you can't cook today if you, don't, if you don't have a story to, to tell. So 
Behind each recipe, there is a real story. If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andrews Husa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching!